You hear at four o'clock today, there's a major step forward in the criminal justice efforts in Pennsylvania. Governor Johnson. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. A new step forward in the criminal justice efforts. I'd be, <sighs> I'd be, so, I'd be so confused when any time that should come up after 2020, it's like. <laughs> Are y'all seeing the news? Do y'all do y'all like feel this? Like everything has gone up: robberies, homicides, shootings. Uh, fucking this is Philly, death. dog. Oh, this yeah, is this Philly. Oh, Philly. What? It, well, we can't do traffic stops anymore, right? They know. I mean, they feeling it the worst. They got all that shit the worst. You hear at four o'clock today, there's a major step forward in the criminal justice efforts in Pennsylvania. Governor John Shapiro signed three new laws today. The biggest of those involves probation changes. It's an effort that got some superstar support from Philadelphia's own Meek Mill. Action News Race and Culture reporter Toronto Thomas joining us live now outside the National Constitution Center with a look at the legislation being called groundbreaking today. Toronto. It really is, Brian. Fittingly, these three new laws were signed here at the National Constitution Center, offering, in essence, a new level of freedom for so many people who are involved in the Criminal Justice Center. Now, the probation reform law took five years to be in the works, and two people who joined forces to make it happen, a governor and a hip-hop star. Governor Josh Shapiro stood shoulder to shoulder with Meek Mill just about an hour ago as Shapiro... This is Shapiro stood shoulder to shoulder with Meek Mill just about an hour ago as Shapiro signed. Did you hear his last album, Governor Shapiro? Did you hear his freestyle on fucking Hot 97 the other day? Huh? This shit is buffoonery, dog. Like, this shit is like an upside down world, dog. It's like a reverse universe type shit. Like, the fact that y'all can talk about criminal justice reform or bail reform in a spike that you haven't seen since 90 fucking one is crazy as hell like all these people need to be all these DAs and all the other shit anytime y'all release one of these motherfuckers from criminal justice reform they have to live with y'all for six months just let them live with y'all for six months that should have solved it. I want to hear. I want to see some of his, his new lyrics, man. Um, what's his, What's his last album? Um, I haven't listened to hip hop in a while. Like new hip hop, new hip hop. I, ain't, I can't. Do it. <laughs> I can't do it, man. I, I, I'm. 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 Motherfucker, checked out, man. <laughs> Me too, man. I, I don't know any of this shit. You got a song called Shaq and Kobe with Rick Ross. Okay. Um, niggas want to see you lose when you making moves. We bringing tools in any room. <laughs> we trying to break the rules. Niggas is haters. They ain't goons. We trying to make them food. I never thought I'd make the force before... I make the news. Having a threesome with some bitches and still ain't amused. I pick and choose, put on my jewels. It's like I lit the fuse. I call the shots and all the killers be like, what's the move? Hundred grand, you and your, your little man get split in two. Hmm, my life got way realer, playing with the millions, and it turned me into a made nigga. Anywhere in the cash is how I reacted. When they played with them, statements got retracted. When niggas ratted, cause we spray niggas. Mafioso sipping Lobos, jumping off the chopper to the yacht off the Gold Coast. We was toting choppers on the block selling cocoa. Now we treating models like they thoughts out in Soho. 30 million cash do these niggas bad. 
They never thought I'd go this far from a pen and pad. I seen my dog kill my dog just to get a stash. He went up top. They banged him out. Got that nigga slashed. <sighs> Bars. <laughs> Bars. I felt every fucking lyric. Wow. I left a team of niggas in red tape, digging through their pockets, left their shoes unlaced. Homicide on another case. Mouth wide, gold teeth with a pale face. My niggas couldn't read, had impediments but they never would leave any evidence. Your mother's still in pain. It's been a few days, but you notice how it came with minimum wage. They thought it was a game till the shots rang. Six niggas laying on the same box spring. How you dead broke, but got a dope charge. Got to rob a bank, just a post bomb. Got a chopper with me for those close calls. Helicopter on the roof, cause I want war. Kill a nigga in the streets, I call it a feast. 20 million I can see, and all in a week. We only on the yachts with tequila shots. It's only paperwork when we leave the lot. Calamari in California. Yeah, I want to kiss. All you envious devil demons, you can suck a dick. I hope you die slow with your blindfold. Your bitch still at home with her mind blown. I got a pool of parrots and some buffaloes. And I got a pool of parrots and a bungalow. Still flipping numbers, helping somersaults. Everybody get to eat. That's what a winner called. I'm sipping champagne. I own myself. You niggas better learn to own you some wealth. That was Ross right there. Oh. Whew. All right. <laughs> That's the dude who's up here about crying about criminal justice reform. A governor and a hip hop star. Governor Josh Shapiro stood shoulder to shoulder with Meek Mill just about an hour ago as Shapiro signed three pieces of legislation. All of them are aimed at criminal justice reform, with one of them focusing on reform of the probation system. It changes the system in two ways. First, by aiming to shorten probation terms in the Commonwealth. That is key because... <laughs> This shit is unreal, man. This shit is unreal, man. Unfucking real, man. Because there are more than a hundred thousand people on probation in Pennsylvania right now. The rate of yeah, and that's and that's a blessing. So they not locked up. Probation is 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 good, man. I, I used to be happy when I got probation with some shit. I go to court praying, man. Just give me probation, man. I wouldn't even pray to, for the shit to be dropped or nothing like that. I'd be mean, like, yeah, I know I did that shit. Just give me probation, man. Love probation, man. The fuck is these niggas complaining about probation? First they complaining about jail time. Now they bitching about probation and getting gliders to fucking change the laws. Whew the system in two ways. First, by aiming to shorten probation terms in the Commonwealth. That is key because there are more than 100,000 people on probation in Pennsylvania right now. The rate of recidivism 
58 percent, due in part, Shapiro says, to the fact that probation terms include punishment for technical and non-criminal violations. It's a personal story for Meek Mill, first put on probation when he was a kid. He was sent back and forth to jail for violating probation terms for something as simple as popping a wheelie on a motorcycle. That got the North Philadelphia. That's not what. <laughs> That's not what he was. Pop of the wheel. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what that's what the average person in Philadelphia is getting violated probation for popping wheelies. Yeah, man. <sighs> for Philadelphia native, a two to four year sentence. In recent years, he's focused on helping create criminal justice reform. For him, finally seeing the probation reform law get signed today was overwhelming. I'm at a point in my life like we all grew up. Yo, the album you just dropped last week, I just read the lyrics of one song. What point in your life are you at? You ain't at no point in your life, yo. You at the same place you was when you was fucking 15, nigga, mentally. Only difference is you hang with Robert Kraft and Shapiro and all these fucking... NBA and NFL owners and shit, but you're still the same fucking son turd mentally. I'm at a point in my life like we all grew up in the streets and we try to be better, but they labeled us felons, sent us back. <laughs> Any thoughts, guys? <laughs> you might want to chime in. <laughs> This shit is crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, you killed 30 niggas in your verse. At least 30, man. You killed 30 niggas in your verse, man. You 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 a few bad guy, man. I'm at a point in my life like we all grew up in the streets. And we try to be better, but they labeled us felons. Send us back to jail. I had to fight against that the whole time to gain my respect and be who I am today. And I'm proud of that. Who's a nigga who's, who just dropped the album where the lyrics are what I just said. You had to work hard to be the nigga who just, that album came out like last month, the end of last month or the beginning of this month. This is cringy. I'm going to make y'all watch it again. Hit the like button. I'm at a point in my life like we all grew up in the streets. And we try to be better, but they labeled us felons, sent us back to jail. I had to fight against that the whole time to gain my respect and be who I am today. And I'm proud of that. So when Meek got out, we all talked together about how we could learn from Meek's experience and how we could help others. We didn't want Meek to be the final verse of the song. <laughs> you wanna... <laughs> what do you say to this? Like, the, he's the same person with all he has is fucking gold and diamond chains around his neck. It, it, it's the same person. <laughs> it's the exact same person. He what, How old is he? In the 30s, right? He's in his 30s, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the same shit, like the same mentality when he was fucking became 18. Same shit. Same shit. Just just now he's got a fucking full beard. Some fucking chains on his neck. And it's worse too, because at least then there was the age thing where it's like, oh, he's just a kid, he did it stupid. Those lyrics were like there was no growth like there was zero growth you know what i'm saying like none. no character development none. yeah no no no, po no no positive character development <laughs> right it was nothing all negative yo he actually might have gone backwards and get up here in front of these juice crews and these gliders and Fucking cry. 
have this guy say this stupid shit that he just said it's fucking an abomination man and i'm proud of that so when meek got out we all talked together about how we could learn from meek's experience and how we could help others we didn't want meek to be the final verse of the song we wanted him to be the opening and this song is just getting started because two other pieces of legislation were signed today, too. One of them is the Clean Slate Law. It seals the records for some nonviolent offenses. The other is the Dignity Law. It provides for the needs of women, including pregnant women, who are in prison. Now, the probation reform law got bipartisan support, overwhelming bipartisan support. And another group called the Reform Alliance, they're a national group, they also work to push this forward really across the country. Now, Meek Mill helped to bring attention to this issue, but he and lawmakers are clear, it's not just about him. It's about people across the Commonwealth who are affected by the probation system, who now have a new chance to start new law. Who are affected by the probation system. Like, they act like it was thrust or like it just happened. Like they you don't just end up on probation for no reason, bro. <laughs> like there's, it, I, I don't just like slip on like nothing. I, I don't get this. I don't get it. I'm so lost. Like this doesn't make sense. And then you have this smug asshole with his slick back hair up there talking about, uh, we want him to be the opening book. Yeah. And literally, probation is the judge giving you a break. Like, like, yo, you did X, Y, Z. All right, I'm looking at your record. Yo, all right, we'll give you probation instead of locking you up. Probation is the fucking prayer. Some men go to night bed at night before their court date praying for probation. Don't lock me up, judge. This shit. But it's literally the equivalent of like your parents grounding you, but all they said was you just can't leave the house. Yeah, you can keep your your, your video games and your cell phone. You can watch TV, talk to your friends. You just can't go out and hang out with them. Like this is so stupid. I don't. This is. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh my god. It's unbelievable. And there's two more pieces of legislation that he's going to. Uh. 